Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Saturday. Um, so if you haven't kind of like noticed already, I really love sharing my new purchases with you guys. I'm super excited for my newest purchase and that is Vive Makeup. <laughs> Um, so if you don't already know, Jamie Genevieve, she's a YouTuber um, in Scotland and she does awesome makeup and awesome vlogs. I love her so much. She has German Shepherds and I have a German Shepherd and, you know, we both like makeup. So, you know, she, you know, you know, how to support my girl. So I purchased this the same exact day her makeup uh, line came out. And I was going to, like, get ready and do this full, like, production for you guys sharing the makeup. But honestly, with COVID and, like, work and just everything, the holidays, I haven't really had time to do that. So I was chilling and I thought, hey, you know, I'm in my PJs. Like, I kind of just want to play with some makeup. I kind of just want to have a little bit of fun and show you guys the products at the same time. So I thought that I would open everything and show you guys what I got and then we can just you know play around with it all first of all how cute when you open the box ah I'm so excited let's see thank you for joining our Vive community and then it kind of just talks about like how Vive was born her goal it's our goal to help spark creativity in your makeup routine Okay, I'm gonna try some new things today, so we'll see. There were two makeup bags, and one was smaller than the other. I got the big one. First of all, I love all of her packaging. It's like, you see that print? And it's black and gold, and it says Vive. Like, if you know me, you know I love black and gold. I mean, like, look, I have, like, all my gold jewelry on. Like, come on. I love it so much. And then the zippers that print plus the gold detailing. Um, I thought this was perfect. I kind of needed a new makeup bag anyways, but you know, um, yeah, I got that. And then look how the makeup looks so pretty. It's like lined up so beautifully. Oh my gosh, okay. So we'll open this first. I probably should say this for last, but whatever, I'm excited. I got her eyeshadow palette and it says Vive. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I saw her talking about it and she said that her palette was super big, but this thing is huge. Like, oh my gosh, these pans, super huge. Okay, so I have, I'll show you really quick right next to me. I have a Morphe palette that I use a lot. Okay, look how small, oopsies, compared to this. I don't know if you can tell, but these squares are huge. Oh my gosh, and it's so beautiful, look at that. And I like how she said that you can use your, she flips it over like this so that when she's doing her makeup, she can use the mirror on the other side. Like this mirror is huge, look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm super excited to use that. I'm not a professional, you know, makeup, you know, artist or makeup guru. So don't judge me how I'm showing you guys this stuff. I'm just showing you it being genuine. I'm genuinely excited for all of her products. So I hope that, you know, if you guys want some real professional reviews, <laughs> watch Jamie, watch some other MUAs. This is just me excited. In. So on her website, they have like shop this look. I started to put things in my cart and then I saw that she, you could shop her look. And basically some of the things that I had already put in my cart were from her look. So I was like, let me just buy everything from her look. So I bought the Brat um, lip liner, which she was wearing. And then let's see. You can see that there. Super cute. And then I got the Vive lipstick. I had to get the Vive lipstick. Like, come on, it's called Vive from Je Jamie Jenna Vive. Like, how could I not get this lipstick? First of all, this packaging, like what? So cute, has the V. Oh my gosh, I love it. Such good quality. It's a nice little nude. Oh, they're gonna look so cute together. And then I had to get a Nova Glow highlighter. Okay, so I got the Holy Chic uh, highlighter. It's huge, again. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, 
I shouldn't have messed up the V like that, but I wanted to give you guys a good swatch. Look at that. It's a nice golden highlight, which gold works well with me. So I was like, yes, let's get it. So I tried a new technique. Well, I've tried it a couple times before, but I definitely tried the laminating look for my brows and I love it so much. Um, all I did was use the got to be glued and then I just kind of brush them up and then I'll like highlight or outline them um, once we get to that part. But I thought that we could um, go ahead and play with the eyeshadow first because I do my eyes first. Some people do their face first, but I do my eyes first and I found that that works really well for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Born This Way uh, concealer and this is in the shade Almond and I'm kind of just gonna line my eyebrows and then I prime my eyelids with it so oh yeah it is always nice once you clean up that brow looks so good I'm gonna take my Mario Badesco spray and just wet my sponge. I'm gonna blend this out. Sorry if I don't show you all the products that I use, but I'll leave them in the description down below. As much as I know like the names of them. Touch it up. Oh my gosh, I love the laminated look. Like stop it. Okay, let's put this hair back. Got my cute little hair tie. Let's get my hair out the way. If you hear my mom laughing in the background, she's literally in the other room uh, watching my other videos. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, ah, I'm so shy. <laughs> my mom's like, yeah, go do your video. <laughs> oh, and I told her, I was like, we're going to be making it a makeup fun, like, you know, just playing around with makeup fun night. And so she <laughs> got this little, I don't know if you guys could see it. It's like a vodka um, martini and a little frozen thing. So I was like, mm, let's have a little drink. Let's play with some new makeup. Let's have some fun together. <laughs> let's take a little sip of this before we get started. Oh, it's cold. All right. So this thing is huge. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's pretty, I could use this all, all the time, like every day. I want to do a grungy look for sure because like in honor of Jamie Genevieve, like how could we not do a grungy look? I'm going to just set my concealer with the color So Shy. It's It looks whiter on camera, but it's like a, like a skin-like color. See, I don't even know like what to call these colors, but hey, you know, I'm gonna try my best. Alright, that's cool. I feel like I'm gonna revert to my normal like super light nude tan type of type of look and uh, we're gonna try and step out of the box but um, here we go. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna take Buff, the color Buff right here. It was the same um, brush that I just used earlier. This is a uh, Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush, the JH30. I bought her whole set, so most of my brushes I use. Like I have other brushes, I have like BH brush brushes and all that kind of stuff, but Jaclyn Hill's Morphe brushes are my absolute favorite and I literally use them every day. So we'll see. That's pretty much where all my, that's where, that's what all my brushes are gonna be. It's gonna, gonna be from the Jaclyn Hill collection. So Jamie Genevieve was the first person to make me feel comfortable, kind of just like, bringing my eyeshadow all the way out here. Like it does something to your face. I just love it. Blending, blending, blending is your friend, you know? I mean, just keep blending, just keep blending, you know? Literally, that is like number one tip. How was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was good. I went and saw my brother, me and my mom drove up to see him. He lives about three and a half hours away from us. It was a lot of fun. We met up and we just had some dinner together. We kind of cooked it all together. Um, 
and then watched a couple movies and then my mom and I headed back. So we literally dr like traveled all day on Thanksgiving. It was a lot of fun. What'd you guys do? What'd you guys eat? We had, uh, we always have a tofurkey cause you know me, I'm the vegan. So I had to bring my tofurkey. My mom and my brother had the turkey. We had some sides. I had some mashed potatoes, some veggies, a salad, uh, pumpkin pie, apple pie. Mm, it was good. It was real good. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Morphe M1, wait, M518 brush. I'm going to take Cozy right here, this like reddish pinkish color. Okay, these blend really well, like super well. Another thing too is it's okay if you get kind of messy all over here because you can clean it up after and that's why I like doing my eyes first because you kind of have like free range to just kind of blend, blend, blend. You don't have to be all perfect, you know? All right, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> I know it looks kind of crazy, but trust the process, you know? And then I think we're going to take, I feel like when I want a more grungy look, I use all of my fluffy brushes and then it helps like just blend and move around and things. I have, I think I'm gonna use this Lava Rock dark brown color in the outer corner. It's this one right here. And this is a Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came with one of my, um, whatchamacallit, palettes. So when you touch the, the eyeshadow, it, it definitely has fallout, but not when you're blending it. Like on my face, I don't have any fallout down here or anything like that. So now I'm just gonna deepen the outer corner right here. I'm liking it so far. It doesn't look as dark, like, as good on camera as it does in person, I feel like, but hmm, whatever. Did you guys have a good Black Friday? Did you guys, you know, stand in any extra long lines? Hmm, I did. But yeah, I went to Nike Outlet, two Nike Outlets. <laughs> um, I just, you know, wait every year to buy something from Nike during the... Black Friday sales because you just get such good deals. Even like going to the outlet versus buying online is completely different. For example, buying online, you just get the normal like whatever percent off. But if you go to the outlet, whatever that tag says, plus 30% off. Plus, if you have any coupons, you can use it on top of that. So my birthday is in November. And so I always have a coupon plus all those sale prices. And then plus if you get something on clearance... Like I got two things on clearance, plus 30% off, plus my coupon, oh my gosh, I was paying nothing basically. They basically paid for it for me. Yeah, I definitely stayed in, like the, when I went to one Nike outlet, it wasn't that long of a line. I literally like got in and got out, but the second one, it was legit like wrapped around, like not like you guys could see, but it was like wrapped around like two corners of the building. And I was like, dang, but you know what? I'm about to stand in line. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. I ain't complaining. And I'm just gonna reuse that same brush for the red and blend out this darkness right here. So harsh lines, blending that out. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it. And then I'm going to do this chow. I wanna use that color. Um, we're gonna just take a Jaclyn Hill, just like a packing type of brush. Uh, J11, or JH, sorry, duh, uh, 41. Like, I feel like if I wanted it to be brighter, I'd put a little bit of concealer on and, you know, then set it on. But um, I kind of want it to be a darker look. Like, it's nighttime. I'm feeling like going out vibes, you know, or going out to dinner. Like, it's nighttime. Like, I don't feel like wearing, like, super bright makeup. So we're just going to pack this in here. 
All right, I'm gonna take what's left over on my fluffy brush with that dark brown. It was the lava rock color. What was left over, I'm just gonna blend my yellow in, in, in dark brown together. Sorry if you hear my dog bark. I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn the TV on so he can't hear other dogs walk by. Voila, and we're back. Hopefully my dog doesn't keep barking. I'm really sorry if you guys hear him park. Um, but okay, so now that I did that, I'll probably do a little bit of liner um, and then clean things up here. What do you guys think? Even enough? Even enough for so far. For now. Hey, I'm liking it so far. Can you guys see? Can you guys tell? I don't know if you guys can, but trust me, it's coming out okay. So, when the winter happens, my skin gets really dry. So, I don't like putting foundation on because it just makes my face look cakey if you guys have any tips let me know um but so far so what i like to do is just do concealer and then i like to do my little sticks my uh, contour and blush sticks um but i also have a juvia's place stick foundation so i thought i'd combine all th all four all four and make my face like this so i'm trying something new we'll see how it turns out so, and we'll see if i can come up with a little routine with just these sticks. And if it works out, hey, I'll be so excited that I came up with something for the winter. So I'm just putting concealer where I have redness and of course under your eyes. Oh my gosh, I look so funny. <laughs> I look like the guy from Mulan. Like, I don't know his name, but he has the mustache right there. <laughs> um, well, these are usually the places that I conceal. So we're, gonna, we're trying this together, guys. This is the first time I'm doing this. So let's see. I'm going to put my whole face on, literally, and then see how it goes from there. Have you guys seen, I think it's like TikToks or Facebook videos, I don't know, where they like paint this whole thing on and then they show how they blend it and it looks beautiful. I'm trying to do the same right now. I'm inspired. Oh, not in my eyebrow. Oh. <laughs> this is raw, this is real, okay? I am playing with you guys. This is real, real life, all right? Oh, let's see if I can do it. Okay, first I'm going to do my under eyes. How come every time you start putting makeup on, all of a sudden your face starts itching? Does that happen to you guys? I always hide my little diamond underneath um, until I'm done. But anyways, does that happen to you guys? Happens to me every time. I'm like, are you serious? I just like to do the concealer first and then we'll do everything else. Dun, dun, dun. I totally forgot to put my freaking primer on. Oh well, we'll see how it works. Cause technically, okay, technically, when I'm just running out the door and I do my contour sticks and stuff like that, I don't put primer on. So we'll see how this works. I'm not gonna take this all off. Mm -mm. So I think that I'm going to do my contour first and I'll blend everything else so that if it's too dark it can kind of just blend on top of it you know blend over it I know it looks crazy but trust the process this is my real technique sponge real technique sponge and I just use my Mario Badesco spray to wet it down I must say blush for last I'm going to start blending my foundation. First of all, this foundation is really pretty. I got it in the color Panama, which is so cool because I'm Panamanian. Panamanian, Nicaraguan, Mexican, Spanish, all of the Latina, basically, you know. I'm a nice little mix of it all. 
things. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, okay, so now you guys can see like, here's that foundation. I'm gonna start blending it into the contour. So it can be a natural blend and there's still a contour, oh my gosh. have primer on guys oh my gosh my skin looks flawless <gasps> like literally I have butterflies in my stomach right now I'm so excited I love the KVD vegan beauty um powders like uh setting powders I my friend gave this to me because she didn't really like it um but I have the translucent color and it works really good for under your eyes um, and then I tried another translucent setting powder. I don't know, I didn't like it, it was horrible. Um, so I have this one and it's in Petal and it's a brightening powder. Y'all, I'm really excited for how my skin looks. Like, I kind of have like a whole other excitement for makeup now. Just gonna set that under eye. I don't go crazy with it. You don't have to go crazy with it. Oh my gosh. Makeup just can make you so happy and put you in such a better mood. Let's see, what time is it? It's like 6.30 and I'm all doing my makeup to go sit on the couch. <laughs> hey, but you know what? That's what we gotta do nowadays. With quarantine, we have nowhere to go, so what? Practice that makeup. Practice that singing. Practice that instrument. Practice your drawing. Do it all. This is the time that we should be working on ourselves, bettering ourselves. Even if that means just sitting on the couch and doing nothing, if you need to take a break, then take your break, you know? But don't lose your creativity. Don't lose, you know, don't lose sight of what you love. Everywhere that you put your um, concealer, uh, set it with the setting powder. It doesn't have to be a lot. I'm literally just putting it on there, like tapping it. Barely any product on the brush. Well, actually, that kind of looks like a lot, like this much. I'm gonna set in here because we don't want any creases around that nose. And my smile lines, no matter what, no matter how well I set, prime, everything, I still get smile lines. I just, you know, love them for what they are. They ain't going nowhere. They told me that already. They're like, we're moving in, we're staying for a long time, okay? Just dust it off. Like, I don't really bake or anything like that. Okay, so now we're gonna take our bronzer. I just have a BH brush, a little angled brush, but a bronzer, baby. This is that good stuff. I don't think I've ever found another bronzer that works better than this. I have my Marc Jacobs one, which I love too, but better bronzer, man. I love it. It's like the best of the best. So everywhere that you put your contour, put your bronzer. And you're setting your face with that now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna squeeze my brush like this. I don't do any real nose contour, just almost like nose shading is like what I do. Just so it doesn't like get lost in, in the sauce, you know? Just a little dimension, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna use my pretty vulgar blush. And this is in Hush Blush. This blush is so pigmented. Um, but it also comes off easily like a normal blush. So if you put too much on, it's okay. Just use your foundation brush or your sponge to tap it off or blend it off. Blend it away? I don't know. What's the right term, guys? To make it not so intense, basically. So I'm pretty dark in the eyes, so I want to make sure I have some nice color on my cheekies. It's crazy because in the camera... It looks like it's not even on my face, but I look down here and I'm like, oh girl, you got blush on. You got blush on. Don't worry. We looking good. Now that I got the face on, I want to spray a little bit of my Mario Badesco spray. Did I say a little bit? I mean a lot. <laughs> I'm like, don't smile, don't smile, don't smile. Don't smile, because I don't want any smile lines yet. It's really important to like set your face in between and stuff like that, not just at the end. Just like as you go out, go throughout your whole makeup process. I'm gonna take my Real, Techni Real Techniques uh, sponge and I'm kind of just gonna pat everything in. 
I meant to put my I iconic London London um highlighter on, but it's okay. We'll just put a little. I don't know. Can I put it on top? Let's do it. Why not? We're doing new things today. We're fearless. I'd be lying if I was fearless, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. Is basically the point. I love this highlighter. I'm gonna take my finger. It's a clean finger. Brings so much life. I'm so extra, ma. <gasps> oh my gosh, I cracked myself up. Okay, so just basically. Use your finger to blend it out and then use the sponge at the end to kind of do the final blending. But remember, God gave you these wonderful tools called fingers and hands. And don't forget to use them because sometimes it works better than applying with a brush and things, you know? This way to live here. Bring a little sheen to the forehead. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun with my makeup. Like, this is so exciting to say. I'm having so much fun with my makeup. I forgot about my little drinky. Mm-mm-mm. No, but seriously, I'm having so much fun. I think I'm gonna do this more often. Just, who cares if I don't have somewhere to go? I'll just come on here, practice. You guys could see my, you know, um, successes and my fails. Like, why not? Let's learn together. Let's learn together. Because, you know, nobody's perfect and practice makes, per well, close to perfect, we shall say. <laughs> Um, I am going to just put a little bit of, oh, I forgot, I have to use Jamie Genevieve's um, highlighter. We're going to place this on top then, okay? Ooh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so, so beautiful. I mean, do you guys see that? Took it to a whole other dimension. We're in Mars. We're in space. We're somewhere else, not Earth, that's for sure. That's how pretty this is. I've been needing a new highlighter like this. Like one that doesn't just look like, you know, patchy on your skin or show like your pores more, or your imperfections more. No, this is like an actual sheen. This, ten, so far, if you buy one thing, 10 out of 10 recommend, get this, get this. Get everything else too. But I am so wowed about that. Let's play. Um, I'm gonna take another Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush, JH40. Actually, no, I need a more precise brush. I like to use a more precise brush underneath first and then I'll blend it out after. We'll use the Jaclyn Hill 42 brush and you can see there, it's like a nice little packing brush. I'm gonna take Buff first, just cause I'm a little nervous from messing this up under here. Okay, no, we gotta go straight to Lava Rock. We're going straight to Lava Rock. The dark one right here. We're gonna put it underneath our eye. We got this. I literally have to talk myself up sometimes. I think everybody should. Don't let your don't talk yourself down. Talk yourself up. I'm gonna do the same thing though. Just put a little buff so it's even. So one side's not darker than the other, you know. Now I'm going back into lava rock. And then I'm gonna take the Morphe JH40. It's a smaller uh, fluffy brush. And just blend away those harsh, e harsh edges. And again, I'm not getting any fallout. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And then I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of that ye yellow under my eye. This is a super dark look, which I never do. But I like it. I like it a lot. How fun. I feel like that's what makeup's about. Makeup's about literally just letting loose and having fun and being creative. Like, just get creative with it. That's when your true talent's gonna come out. Cause you're just having fun. It's like from the heart, you know? I feel like that's what, what my makeup is. That's what I like to do with makeup, I should say. 
Not all the time does it come out that way. Like if I'm being rushed, I'm like, I don't even want to do my makeup. I don't want to do it. It's fine. It's fine. We won't do makeup today. You know, like I, I'm just like, mm, don't mess with me. I want to spend time. I want to spend two hours if I want on my makeup. Okay. Don't bug me. Okay. And then we're going to take, hmm, which one should I use y'all? We have Glimmer, Carrot, and Fae. I think she said that's a goddess of gold. No, goddess of... I want to say gold. I don't remember. It was super clever though. And she said it in her video and she explained it. Since I remember that one so much, let's use it. Well, I'll show you guys. It's like a darker gold. This is carrot. Ooh, ooh I'm kind of feeling this carrot vibe though. And then this is glimmer. <gasps> okay, so I think I'm going to use carrot in my inner corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll use Thea next time on like the eyelid. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, I'm just going to use the same brush because I'm lazy. <laughs> I just wiped it off really quick on my paper towel. And I'm just going to use Glimmer. Eek! That one right there. Underneath my eyebrow bone. All right. I'm going to touch up my brows just a smidge. A little smidge. I was just focusing on the line, the bottom basically, and then filling in just a tiny bit there and a little bit there. But like, oh my gosh, look at the difference. It's all, where's the brow? Oh, there you are. Oh, Y'all, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. This is the first time I've done my brows last and I'm, I'm really liking it. I mean like, yes, I know I laminated it, but like actually doing the brows, I'm doing it last. And I'm liking it because you you put less product on. You see exactly how much product you need to put on. You know, it also kind of inspired me to do a video like this was um, Sean T and his husband's uh, Friday night wine night. How they always do like a little podcast and have some wine and they're chilling and just having a good old time. Kind of inspired me to do this um, as well. Just because you don't want to have a big old production just to make a video and to have fun, you know. So, yeah. Those are my eyebrows. I think I'm gonna put my lashes on and then we'll come back and do lips, okay? Welcome back. So I put my lashes on and did a little mascara. I sprayed a little all-nighter spray and now I'm just gonna dip back into that highlighter really quick. Just wanna reapply this beautiful, beautiful highlighter. Like I just, oh my gosh. Highlighters almost went out of style. And then this came out. I'm obsessed, obsessed. Okay, well, now that we're glowing and everybody can see me, <laughs> um, we're gonna do the lippy. All right, so, come on, where did it go? Okay, here it is. So I have, again, just wanna let you guys know, the Vive Lip Liner in Brat. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, it was Brat. So I'm gonna line my lips really quick. This lip liner is very creamy. Almost feels like it's like rolling on me. All right, so that's a lip liner. It's really beautiful. And then now I'm gonna apply Vive lipstick. Just focusing it in the middle. I knew this was gonna be way lighter of a lipstick than I normally wear, cause Jamie is known for her nude lip, but I had to get it anyways, you know? I was like, how could I not? I'm just gonna add a little bit more lip liner. And that's the lip. I would normally put a little bit of gloss on top because I'm just a gloss kind of gal. It's really cute and it feels really good too. It doesn't feel drying or anything like that. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slide away or anything. Let's take this her down now that we're done. What do you guys 
think. Oh my gosh, I'm living for it. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you that well because you know, I'm not like a guru, a makeup guru, but um, this is my version of a grungy look using the products and I absolutely love it. Um, my end review would be, can't go wrong with getting this. This is such good quality. It blends well. The palette feels like such good quality. I mean, come on, the mirror, this, you're not gonna waste your money getting this. Get it. Um, the lippies, you can't go wrong. I mean, they're not like, oh my gosh, like how I feel about the highlighter. But I mean, I couldn't not get it. Um, love the lippies. I'm definitely gonna buy more. And... If you're on a budget, you know, if you only want to buy one thing, if you're not sure what to get and you only buy one thing, get the dang highlighter. This thing is amazing. I have not been excited for a highlighter since Jaclyn Hill's um, Champagne Pop. That's a long time ago. But this highlighter, oh my gosh, it's, I'm going to show you one more time. <sighs> Holy Get this, get this. Jamie, I'm so excited for you. I love you so much. I love all the makeup. I love the look I created. Thank you for inspiring me to kind of just have fun with makeup again and just have a good old time being creative and kind of stepping outside my box. Like, there's still kind of the same colors I would do, but it's a little bit more dramatic than I normally would do. And I really love it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like this kind of video. I definitely can kind of make this a little series. Oh, with my little vodka martini drinks over here. Um, and just play with makeup or even just try a new technique with you guys. Um, let me know if you like this video. And until next time, have a good night. Peace. The last thing I forgot to tell you guys. The best. I know I showed it to you guys already, but I kind of just wanted to put everything in here so you could see. We have the palette, eyeshadow, or the highlighter, the lippy, and the pen. I mean, like, come on. This is beautiful. This looks so cute. I'm going to zip it up really quick and show you guys. <gasps> Look how pretty it looks. I love it. Oh, my gosh. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, y'all. I'm going to go. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my night. You guys have a good night. Peace.